Hi guys, this is lesson number 53 from our Corel Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create custom brush in Corel Draw. Here in my screen, I have two examples. The right side, I have a vector background, and uh, the left side, we have image. And this is our custom brush that we apply to the circle here. And this side, we apply that brush to the open path. We created arc, and we apply that brush. Using blur effect and transparency tool, we achieve this beautiful realistic result. So let's see how it's done. Zoom tool, fit to page height. The first thing we are going to draw object that we will use to create our custom brush. I'm going to create rainbow brush. So here we have one tool. Under polygon, we have graph paper tool. Choose graph paper tool. This tool is having ability that you can create column and rows similar to table. So previously I set here one column and seven rows and this is what exactly we need. Click and drag. Though we can draw with the rectangle tool, but we need to duplicate and arrange. This is quite easy. We are going to fill multiple colors. In order to do that, we need to separate these rectangular shapes. For this thing, we'll click on pick tool and ungroup. Click outside and you can access now one by one. If I will click in the first one and separate it. Now these are the independent shapes. To fill color, we can just click and drag color this way the first one is red then we need orange yellow we have green light blue this blue shade also we need and there is a purple so simply we fill our object, we are going to remove outline, select all of them and right click here. All right, so this is what exactly we need. Simply you need to select all the object that you want to convert into brush, then go to artistic media. And here we have option save brush. Previously we used predefined brushes that comes with the coral draw. Now we are going to make custom brush. So click on save. You don't need to change this path, simply type your brush name. I'm going to type Rambo and click on save. So now these objects are saved as a custom brush and we can apply to the selected object with a single click. Now we don't need this all, we can delete. And here I have a simple circular shape. In order to apply our new brush, we need to select with the pick tool. Click and drag window around objects. Click on artistic media. Our custom brush is ready. So this brush is selected here and simply I will click on one of the circle and you can see once I click the nodes appear around every circle here. So this means our brush is going to be applied. To do that here we will just increase the size. Use up arrow key in the stroke width and our brush it is applied. If we want we can add let's say 1.5 and then press enter. So this is how easy to work with the custom brush. Now everything is selected. We can go to the pick tool and simply group. Zoom tool, fit to page height. Here we can create a rectangular shape. Use a rectangle tool, double click. This is the color previously we have given. If we want, we can apply our desired color. First, I'm going to apply white. Then by pressing control key, I will mix some orange. Press control key and click on the orange. So this is how we have light color in our background. Select the objects. And now we can clip these elements inside this rectangular shape. So go to object, power clip, place inside frame and simply click inside this rectangular shape that is clipped. And anytime you want, you can still add it. Click on edit. You can reposition wherever you want. You can place and then click finish. Okay, so let's apply this brush to the image. Here we have image and this one I'm going to delete. My brush stroke is selected. Press delete. First of all, we are going to create path here. We'll use pen tool. Go to freehand tool and point to pen tool. Simply start from the one side click somewhere in the middle click and drag this way 
and then simply other side double click to close the path now we have path we can fill it with the black for now right click so you can see now our path is selected I will go to the artistic media and our custom brush is here it is selected I will simply click here click on the path and look at this from both sides the nodes appear simply increase the size let's apply maybe 2.5 hit enter okay that is fine in order to achieve the realistic result on the rainbow we need to break this artistic media because if I will click now effect and directly apply blur all options are disabled so the first thing we need to break it while it is selected go to the object and here we have artistic media group apart click it you can also use control K that is the shortcut key and once you do that the path we created now it's appear in the middle so click outside use pick tool carefully select the path in the middle look at this this is the one so we can delete it now we have here multiple objects this time we can apply blur effect while it is selected go to the effect blur and now here all options are enabled so click on Gaussian blur here you can apply your desired radius I am going to increase okay that is fine and then click OK the blur effect is applied but still it doesn't look realistic because from the edges it's really sharp to fix that we are going to use transparency tool so here we have transparency tool and simply click and drag this way look at this the transparency it is applied little more okay and here in this area the brush it is really still with the dark color so this point we are going to move it up okay that is fine and using this slider also we can adjust so that's all you click on pick tool and this is how we get this realistic result on our image we created a custom brush we apply to the simple circular shape we apply to the arc that we created with the pen tool and then we apply blur effect and transparency tool to achieve this result so that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you